All right, documenting the overhaul of the yard here. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work over the last couple years to get the yard where I want it. The pool, the playground, we built the addition and everything here and all the concrete, but I'm going to be redoing a little of this concrete. But in the meantime, I just killed off uh, Roundup. You know, I used Roundup and everything and killed off my fescue here. It's a, it's only a couple of days in. Actually, it's one day in to the, uh, the Roundup. Uh, it's May 31st here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We have had uh, July and August type heat in the 90s for the last week and a half. So as you can see, uh, I went ahead and cut the watering off and that did uh, quite a bit of it on its own and then I round up it. So um, this is all dying off and then uh, we'll be prepping and putting in Zenith Zoysia seed. So I'm doing this to document how long that process takes and then I'll also get a video of the front yard uh, sorry it's a little messy back here right now with all the work we've been doing but this is the side just so we can get a look at it um, and then I'll get the front yard for you here in the next clip all right coming up on the front yard here you can see this area is fairly shaded right now about mid-afternoon um, but it does get quite a bit of uh, evening shade as the sun sits that way. So to give you an idea of where we're at, May 31st, 2019, stage one, which is spraying down everything. Uh, I'll take pictures as we get it killed, cut down as low as possible. Then I'm gonna hit it with uh, a dethatcher on my riding mower and run around and tear up the surface as much as I can and pick all that up with the bagger uh, I know there's probably uh, you know other ways to do that and to even get a tiller uh, but I'm gonna see if the dethatcher will tear it up enough last time I used the dethatcher it, it put a hurting on the yard so I have a feeling that may give me enough uh, if I can get this cut down low enough with the mower and weed eater and things like that and then uh, we're gonna seed cover it with some sand and then water it and uh, hope for a uh, decent decent germination in 30 days or so all right so more to come later all right everybody gonna give you an update here we're uh mid-june it's about june 16th had a little bit of a delay here we had a bunch of rain in the area and we had some cold cold snap come through here in fact it was in the 50s last night so you're supposed to be in the 70s when you plant zoysia so i just wanted to give you an update uh, as you can see i've killed everything off um and i am currently going over yeah, this is my garden tractor and I'm uh, using a just a you know at home buy it buy it and do it yourself with some bricks here uh, de Thatcher um, and as you can see I've been sort of running over the yard with that uh, de Thatcher is doing a really good job of tearing this up uh, so next step is to run over it with the bagger and uh, and pick all this up with uh, the mower blade as low as I can get it and I'll get you a video of that but uh, once again, just sort of doing this and seeing if we can get zoysia seed growing as a do-it-yourselfer. Uh, it's uh, it's actually pretty economical. Here, you can see over here in the shade. Um, it really tore it up. This is a little wetter. So I'm actually thinking what I might do is skin this with the mower as much as I can. And then maybe wet the yard with the sprinklers. Let it wet in for a little bit and uh, soak. And then come back and hit it again. So I might do that and uh, let it tear it up really good. Uh, Right now the plan is it's uh it's friday we're gonna get through the weekend i'm gonna do some more work to it and uh, i've got sand being delivered on tuesday so uh this thing has to be ready to go for seed and sand on tuesday i'll get you guys some video of that and then we'll take a look at it over the next 30 days and see how it works okay just a little uh update for you so i'm done with the that dethatching here and there's about uh there's eight bags here of, uh, of grass that came off. Front and backyard, six or so came off out here. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty good. I mean, it got, I cut it as low as I could cut it and detached it so you can see there's not much ground cover left. Um, up here in the shady areas, it's even, it's even better because this soil was softer, so I think it ripped the grass up even more. Uh, but Tuesday, I've got, uh, a huge amount of sand showing up and so uh, Tuesday we'll get the sand out and the seed on it 
we're supposed to get some evening thunderstorms this week so that should be ideal for for keeping it wet and then i'll pick up with um, three times a day looks like from what i'm reading it's three times a day watering and then uh, once about 20 to 30 days goes by and we see germination uh, i'm supposed to dial back to twice a day so fingers crossed and once again just sort of filming this because i couldn't find anything like this that so showed sort of a soup to nuts um, zoysia seed installation especially a di wire so uh we'll see okay sand is here i've enlisted some help for this one i've got a buddy that's a landscaper who is uh helping me out with this but as you can see we got about uh well we got a truckload of sand and this is getting spread we're nowhere near done but just to give you an idea using a dingo uh, loading up wheelbarrows and putting it out all in the yard and then spreading that out um, and then we will uh, put the seed down I'll get you guys a video of what that seed looks like here in just a moment but Brian here with Sage Brick Landscaping here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina is helping me out uh, and uh, by getting this, uh, this seed out and using Dingo to, uh, to help spread all the sand this would have taken me forever uh, so this is one part you might want to contract out or at least rent a dingo. I could have done that, but, but he's a good guy and uh, I'm glad to help him out with some work too. Uh, I'll keep you updated. Hey, wanted to give you guys a look here. This is the seed that I'm going with, Zenith Zoysia. About 75, 80 bucks a bag. Comes in little two pound bags just like that. Uh, I got mine at Superside. I had them order it for me. Um, but as you can tell there, um, Technically, according to my yard, it could use three bags, but I am going with uh, six, five, excuse me. You can see here, it's about 80 bucks a bag. Um, I wanted to put it out a little bit heavier and try to increase my, my first dose here, so an extra 160 bucks. Uh, seemed like it was worth it to try to get a little more. Alrighty, seating's done, um, everything's down. And the initial watering, I'm going to water it about 10 minutes of zone here to sort of soak it in. And then it looks like three times a day watering for about 10 minutes of zone. Although I might, I might back it and do, just let it water like every three or four hours, five minutes or six minutes of zone just to keep it good and wet here. So we'll let you know. All right, everyone, update on the zoysia seed. It is June 30th and uh, my wife noticed this this morning and so... I'm stepping out, but as you can see, we're just starting to get seed coming in here. Uh, I've been watering three times a day, about six minutes a zone. Actually, excuse me, every four hours, about six minutes a zone. And uh, just to keep it wet, and this area sort of, it sort of funnels down. And so this area is getting more water, and that's coming in. And then there's an area down here at the bottom that has... Uh, Sort of where water collects and runs and there's more grass coming in there so uh, i'm probably going to increase my water because it looks like even though it's germinating and everything's staying wet the it may be a little more water will help the other areas but uh but i'm excited because it looks like it's coming in and as long as i can get it started uh things will be well here as you can tell that's starting up excuse me my dog's gonna like get back jack so that's actually coming in good all right, more to come. Hey everyone, it's July 4th, Independence Day here. I wanted to give you an update on the progress. Uh, I'm about two, Tuesday, let's see, it's uh, it's Thursday. Tuesday was two weeks exactly, so I'm about 16 days in right now. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, it is uh, it's doing well. This sand holds the water well. Just uh, in case you're wondering what I've been doing, is uh, I started the first couple, the first week or so, I watered um, about three to four minutes of zone every four hours. And then I went to, the, and the only reason I did it so low is back here, there's only two zones and they get a lot of overlap. As you can tell, it's still wet. Um, but now that it's coming up and we're in mid nineties heat, um, I have went to every two hours, um, three minutes of zone back here and I'm about six minutes of zone out in the front because the front gets more um, more sun. But as you can see, I mean, there's quite a bit of germination. I'll show you, those are clumped up very well so you can see them. Let me go around over here where I can get you a good view 
of what's happening across the rest of the yard. Um, yeah, let me get down here and show you. So as you can see, um, you know, you got little little sprigs like um, like this, you know, little clumps and stuff starting up all over the place. But if you really get to looking, you can tell that there is a lot of germination that's occurred. Um, you can see it. There's little sprigs of grass all over the place right now. See all of this and all of this coming up. That is pretty consistent all over the yard. Um, there's one area in the front that's heavily shaded. It doesn't have quite as much, but it's got some. And as you can tell, I mean, it's morning here. Um, the sun comes up over here and then comes up and over. And there's that much coverage before it hits the house and then it's gone. So, um, you, you, you know, there's, this is not what I would call heavily sun, uh, heav a heavy sun area. Uh, I will tell you something that's a little strange. What I've noticed is, see that green area there? That is uh, sort of some green discoloration that I was seeing in the sand. And I really thought it was something to do with the ammonia from my dogs coming out here and peeing on it. But that actually looks like what I'm putting together now. That seems to happen, and then you'll see clumps of grass come up. So I don't know if that's part of the germination of the seed or something, but it does that. I'll give you some more looks out here where you can get an idea of the the spread that's coming in. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's actually coming in pretty well for two weeks uh, when everything I read said uh, 25 to 30 day germination. So I'm thinking the next couple of weeks should have quite a bit of this coming up. I'm also thinking this is um, probably pretty critical time for water. Um, so I'm going to keep it good and wet here as it's, as it's just coming up. Stay tuned for more. Hey everyone, just an update for you here. It's Tuesday, July 9th. Uh, everything out here is really wet. We had a really big storm last night, about three inches of rain per hour that parked over us for about an hour. Uh, thank goodness the seed has uh, pretty much germinated because anything that was left was probably washed away after that one. But I did want to give you guys a look here um, at what's going on to give you. You know, there's some weeds that have come up, but as you can see, that's what I'm getting. All this little, the little grass seed that's coming up everywhere and it may be hard to see from this but that is all over the yard um, I may eat these words later but I am very very encouraged by what I'm seeing here let me go down on this side of the yard uh, even on like this hill it's taken very well as you can see a lot of the uh, the sand has you know gotten into the soil um, over time uh, which, you know, North Carolina, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, by the way, we, uh, we have some pretty hard, rugged red clay here that tends to be tough uh, for, for seeds anyway, but that sand is helping bust that up. There's a huge tree here in front of my house. So this is an area of concern. Um, the sun comes up over the house and then hits this tree and then goes and sits over there in the evening. Um, so as you can tell this area gets very very little to no sunlight So this is going to be a problem area for me, and I know that uh, I may have to come in and sod with a different type of zoysia here that can handle less. However I am encouraged to see that there is some grass here as you can tell there there um, You know, I'm seeing some little you know little sprigs here and there all along here um, so it's encouraging that something's getting in here. It, it gets some sunlight as the sun sits way over there, um, but not a, not a lot. But uh, in the other areas of the yard, we're seeing quite a bit here. So um, I'm gonna give you guys another look down here. As you can tell, um, I'm also fighting some uh, nuts edge here, but there's another area and you can see it's all out through there. Uh, we're about three weeks in right now so uh very encouraged to see this i'll come out here by the road this area gets uh quite a bit of sunlight as the sun comes over and then sits this gets parked in it and as you can tell there's quite a bit of grass growing here three weeks in now keep in mind everything you read says that this takes 25 to 30 days for germination 
uh, I saw initial germination in about 12 days, which was a shocker to me. Um, and as you can tell, it's just continued to come up. So I'll keep you guys updated. I know this is going to be a very long video, um, but there just was nothing out there for me. So I'm hoping this helps other people. All right, everyone, good to give you a sort of an update here. This is a, a month from original planting. Uh, I am going to brave it and get out into some of this because I've got some nuts edge and stuff like that coming in uh, that I want to pull up. But as you can see, um, there are areas that more seed washed into than others uh, that have come in stronger uh, than others. But uh, but I mean, even like over here, when you get down on it, there's, there's a decent amount of seeds that have come up. Um, so um, we did have some big rains here in the last couple of weeks. I mean, like three inches per hour type rainfalls that were coming. So I had some uh, wash off of the sand, but but as you can see, it's uh, it's got a pretty good covering here for one month. Um, the germination period was supposed to be 25 to 30 days, so that puts us right at one month now. I'll walk around to the front yard and give you guys a look. I think I'm going to sort of stop this first video series here at one month, which should be the uh, official germination period. And, uh, and then I'll post some as we follow up here, like the next 30 days or something like that. Sorry, I'm sort of stalling as I walk around the front here. The front gets uh, more evening sun uh, as it comes over. Uh, and as you can see, here's what the front's looking like right now. Um, I am getting some weeds there. So like I said, I've got to I've gotta get out there and start pulling some of those because that's going to take over. I hate that stuff, but it grows way quick. Um, but I mean, you can see here. The seeds are the seeds came in decent you know, even in areas where it's sparse they're 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 not bad and then a really good covering across the majority of the yard as you can see here so that's the one month update um, most of the seed came in and now it looks like it's just a matter of time for letting it grow together i mean this will give you a close-up of what i'm looking like uh, so it looks good so those of you looking to do this yourself, I hope this video helps you. I'll give you some more uh, updates as we go along here, maybe every 30 days or something. Um, but I'm going to pull some weeds and get started on here.